Let's talk about another team starting slow out here in Los Angeles, the Clippers. But why are other teams keeping an eye on them? Yeah, this is one of the biggest conversations I'm having with executives around the league right now. Uh, the Clippers have lost seven of eight games. Now, they've had some injuries. Milos Teodosic, uh, Patrick Beverly, uh, Danilo Gallinari. But they're starting a five-game road trip tonight in Cleveland. This is a pivotal moment for the season. The executives wonder, if they do not turn things around on this trip, Will some attention be turned to Coach Doc Rivers? Now remember, over the summer he had his president title taken away from him by coach or by owner Steve Ballmer. A new front office is in there, including a consultant, Jerry West. The other thing teams are going to pay attention to, if the Clippers are still below 500 in two or three weeks, when the trade season opens around December 15th, will this team be a seller? And will that include possibly DeAndre Jordan, who could be a free agent next summer? Interesting. Thanks, Wendy. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Uh, Paul, your reaction to hearing that Doc might be on the hot seat. Well, you know, when the Clippers, to me, they didn't really have expectations this year anyway. But because of the fact that they're injured, uh, Doc has been there five, six years. He had his title taken away from him earlier this summer. There's always going to be that, especially being a coach here in L.A. So they have to find a way to somehow turn this around, get healthy, and then things will be fine. If they win... Win big on this road trip, get some of their players back. Uh, I think, you know, this will come and go. Man, in fairness to Doc, I mean, it's, it's tough to win in this league without a point guard. Um, they have both of their point guards starting and the backup hurt. But how about that conversation we had a few weeks ago? Are the Clippers better without Chris Paul? There's your answer. There's your answer. There's a premium on point guards in this league. You can't win without one. And I just think, you know, They've still only been to the second round in Doc's tenure. That's something that needs to be looked at. We'll see what happens, but, you know, I'm gonna, things, will, things will, will shape up here soon. I'm going to look at the stat line and the productivity of one of those injured guys. That's Danilo Gallinari. He's teased teams with his potential. Saw a little bit in New York. Saw a lot more in Denver. He seems to be injured when you need him. But when he's healthy and he's productive, he's really talented. Now you put him up front with Blake and DeAndre, that not only is a tall, long, could be special front court, but I think he now becomes their third best player mm -hmm. and allows everybody else, including their guards, to fall back in line. So I want to judge them at that point when he's healthy. What about Wendy right. talking about DeAndre? Do you keep him? You have to get healthy first and see where you're at. You know, if, if you're healthy and things aren't going right, then you have to look for other options. It's always good to have a rim protector like DeAndre Jordan, not only offensively, uh, defensively, excuse me, but he's a dynamic roller as well. Takes a lot of pressure off of the point guard having to make plays in pick and roll situations. Opens up shooters on the weekend strong side because everybody has to tag him while he's rolling. He's a very, very invaluable player for this team. At the five spot, you need either a skill big like an MB. You would love somebody that can play D and score or like a Boogie Cousins that's going to give you maximum offense. Or a will guy like DeAndre Jordan. It's going to run, dunk, jump, block shots, and do all of the energy things that don't necessarily show up on the, show up on the stat sheet. I would not move him if I was the Clippers, this, especially based on their dynamic. This league is crazy. Were you not one of the group trying to talk DeAndre into staying here? Yes, I was. How quickly a relationship can change. Things can change in a hurry if things don't go right. I mean, Love me one just, day. Just like... <laughs> Just like us, Beads. Oh, you know, but some days I don't know good, what the Some days we not. How, how, about this? Good how, how, about, how about this? How about this? What, what happened to that handshake? Oh. Uh, we'll come back. Yeah, we'll that. do it later. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, they forgot already. No, no, I, no, we did. I got it right here.